Thank you for joining us for the two minute drill, smudge spot style. Mm. I'm Aaron Talegian, joined in the middle by Steve Ramirez, and on the far right, Fred J. Robletto. Guys, we are talking about the smudge spot, uh, the, and it's not week zero, fortunately. <laughs> they we should set up our helmets, so it was just yeah. smudge right here. Yeah. They, These two they, teams there, hold yeah. them up. They've moved. It's, it's, it's well, they, we can't cover Steve. Bonita Sandimas. Yeah, here hold we it there the whole time, Steve. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, they've moved this game from week zero. Thank God, uh, to more middle of the season, yeah. uh, which is I, I, nice. I kind of like week zero. I like I like it starting off the year on a Thursday night. Yeah, but, I like it. Uh, yeah, but it's the smudge spot. That's, I, I, that's I, I do like. I November. do like. I think they kind of get it. Making this game, trying to make this game the standalone event in San Gabriel Valley. Playing this game on a Thursday, they could have played it on a Friday. Mm -hmm. I think I, I think uh, the, the two programs kind of get it that let's put it on that night, whether it's a Thursday or Saturday, so everybody can go watch it. Right. I, you know, I think we'll all be there Thursday night. Right. So like Freddie said, this is Thursday night at Citrus College, Bonita 3-1, and one, San Dimas 3-1. and one. Um, Guys, let's jump right into this. Uh, obviously, this is a heck of a rivalry. Um, you know, the, the, the neighboring cities of Laverne and San Dimas, and the kids all know each other and all yeah. those, you know, um, you know, adages that we use every year uh, to talk about the game. Um, but right now, what really looks cool about it is that both teams, they're three and one, and they both look like yeah, quality yeah. teams. Yeah, yeah and, and they, they both share a loss to the same team, Monrovia. Right, yeah. Both of them lost to Monrovia. I think you'd have to say San Dimas played them, obviously, a lot tighter in yeah. that game. But Bonita's looked great since since yeah. that loss. I mean, they, they've blown out, right? Everyone that they faced. Well, just two teams. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, uh, you know, it's Santa Fe and yeah. it's, it's yeah. South Almonte. Yeah. Uh, teams that have struggled yeah. this year. Yeah, and, and I think it's... I think it's a bigger game probably for San Dimas because look, that was one of those games last year in their schedule. You go ahead and win the championship, but it's just, your rival gets to keep reminding you, yeah, but you couldn't beat us. Yeah, but you couldn't beat us. And it was yeah. like 33 14. Yeah, they, yeah. they, they had them. That was the, the, the Jake Payton yeah. debut in the right. uniform. Okay. And I think that whole week, remember, he just became uh, activated, I think, right. three or four yeah. days before the game. And, and one of the things Coach Zernico said about these Week Zero games, because I know they, I, I think Bonita's won more against them than they've lost in these, these early season games, is it's tough because he always feels like with his offense, his defense, he needs a few weeks to really go over and film and study it. He's, he's always said, you know, when I play this team in the middle of the season, I feel we have a much better chance than in the first game. So so here you are, San Dimas, <laughs> middle of the season, playing your rival, both teams are hot. Um, I just, I just think this game is important to San Dimas because if they want to win another championship or go undefeated from here, they don't want that loss with Benito. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like what um, former UCLA coach Terry Donahue said years ago, that their season was three seasons, the regular season, USC, and, and hopefully yeah. the Rose Bowl. And, this is that, and, yeah. and it's, it's this way with these two teams, I think. Yeah, yeah I mean, you look at the stakes, uh, especially for San Dimas, They'll be overwhelming favorites in league play when they get once they get back into Valle Vista. Mm -hmm. If they win this game, live chance they go nine and one and have a heck of a seeding to defend their Mid Valley Division Championship. Uh, for Bonita, not going to be that easy. I mean, the week after this, they have Glendora waiting in the uh, Palomares League opener, um, and you know, and San Dimas has Northview. Yeah, they, they do, the but I mean, you know, I think San Dimas will be favored over Northview. I don't think Bonita will be favored over Glendora. Um, so you see the stakes here. I mean, you know, the, the, both teams could really use this as a launching pad for something bigger. Now, you talked about Jake Payton, Freddie. He's gone this year, but Bonita has a kid um, that, you know, a lot of people were waiting on to become the talent that everyone thought he could become. And it looks like that's what's taking place with running back Angel Verdugo. They're feeding him. Mm -hmm. I think the kid scored like five touchdowns, you know, against Santa Fe, uh, like three or four more against South El Monte. He's an absolute mm -hmm. stud. I mean, he's, he's a horse that they can feed. He's got size. He's got speed. Uh, Coach Adrian Madrano said he's, he's following his blocks now. Yeah. Um, he's settled into that position. He's a legitimate top-notch, all-valley type player. And when you have one of those and you can bring him, like I always talk about, you're bringing a gun to a gunfight. And that's what, <laughs> yeah. that's what Bonita needs yeah. here. Um, but, I, but I think it's important when you talk about that to do that against against really good teams. I mean, is he right. looked that great? Yeah. It's been sure Santa Fe and South El Monte. Yeah. I mean, he obviously didn't look that great against Monrovia. He's going to get that test done. On, that's why this is implied. You know, this is really going to let me know um, whether Bonita is someone that can contend in the Palomares League. Because mm -hmm. uh, you're right, going to Glendora next week, if, if Sandimas blows them out somehow, 
then you're going to really have questions the rest of the way. And you're going to look at those three wins and say, well, it was because of who they played, not because they've improved as much as the Monrovia game. Well, so they're going to go it's, down. It's, it's, a, it's a big game for them to really find out where they are. Where they are, yeah. They're going to go down, if they do go down, they're going to go down using their big gun. Verdugo will be given every chance to take this game over. That's what's kind of cool about it. On the Sandima side, uh, Stevie, I know you like some yeah. of their skill guys, uh, yeah. but to me it's still kind of skill guy by committee over there. Has there yeah. been one guy that stepped up, or is it still the system no, spreading the it, ball it's, around? It, it, it's still a system. That's always been their, their key. They want two, three, four guys that you can't really key on, and they all kind of play off each other. Right. I mean, if you try to stop the fullback dive, then you you know you have the uh, the butt sweep, which Coach Jernico loves. Look, that's his favorite play, and it's 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 really tough to stop when they get they get kind of rolling. Right. Okay. So we'll get into predictions here, and I'll start, guys, by just telling you this: Bonita sees San Dimas every year because of this rivalry. They know what that offense is all about. They've done a great, great job especially in the second half of some of these smudge pots, yeah. of sending that offense to a complete stop. And you don't see that happen yeah. against Coach Zernico. Yeah. However, San Dimas has the best defense that it's had. I think going even even before that, that uh, CIF championship yeah. run in what, 09, 010, yeah. 08, one whatever it was. Yeah, yeah the yeah. one over Monrovia. I think this is the best defense that Zernico's had. That's um, what he said. Um, in the summer that he thought best he defense he's had. Potentially they're athletic. Yeah, yeah. They got studs at linebacker. Um, I think that's where his game is won. I think San Dimas, um, their offense may not put up a, a, you know the fireworks that some people expect because Bonita knows how to defend them well, but San Dimas isn't going to give up much in return. Yeah. And I just think San Dimas wins game, this it's game. It's just been a game the last few years where there's a lot of points scored by yeah. both teams. Yeah. There's a lot I don't of big plays. Yeah. Um, Not this year, I don't see it. Yeah. What, what do you think, Stevie? Um, well, I'm um, picking San Dimas in this game. I think in somewhat of a, a tight game. You know, I, I think, like you said, both, both teams seem to be kind of balanced in, in what they want to do. Um, but I just like San Dimas' schedule. It seems to be a little bit more... More tougher. I right. don't. I don't. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I mean, these yeah, wins. These wins that Benita have. I mean, all three of those teams are struggling a lot, and I mean, they should be three and one at this point. Yeah. Um, so I'm. I'm going with San Diego. But, on this game. Yeah, and for the for, and for the reasons I I said, and another reason. Steve Ramirez is covering this game on Thursday. When Steve Ramirez <laughs> covers San Dimas games, they never <laughs> lose. That's a yeah. fact. Okay. So I'm taking San Dimas. I'm going with what Zernico calls their lucky charm when he covers games, so there it is. Oh, and at one point, I have to file for Whittier deadline, so I don't want any passes in this game at all. Yeah, yeah, Steve, really Yeah, I don't think you got to worry about that, really. <laughs> um, you know, I know Bonita still thinks it tries to pass, but they better be feeding Verdugo all night. Yeah. Okay, so college. we all agree San Dimas is going to win this game, so the Bearcats have a big, big shot at Citrus on Thursday night. Uh, we don't need to tell people to get out there, Freddie, because this one always has a huge crowd. Yeah. So everybody who goes, enjoy it.